Welcome Libra to reading I'm Scorpio Moon Intuition Read Messages from Spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nighest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Libra. So I want to dive deep into your December, okay, in regards to your person that you're connected to in love. I'm going to go ahead and see where the overall messages that want to come through um, from your person. How do they currently think of you? How do they feel? What do they want? And what is the outcome? And also messages from their higher self and uh, guidance messages from spirit. So let's go ahead and see. Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person connected to Libras in love for the month of December? What do we need to know? Who is the person that is coming towards Libra in love? What can you tell me about this person's energy? Who is this person that is connected to Libra in the month of December? Thank you. Three messages, please, Spirit, in regards to this person connected to Libra. Two messages that wants to come through. Oh, and one more message. Let's see what message that wants to come through. What is the final message for Libra? What is the final message, please? Pray. Because uh, the card that came out that flipped over is what? Commitment. Okay. And it says, let's take it to the next level because nobody else matters. So um, there's someone who is very special that it wants to possibly uh, pop the question. Um, maybe not like, you know, do you want to get married? But, um, you know, hey, you know, let's take this relationship to the next level, right? Also, we have inner conflict. My world is chaotic right now and can't seem to think straight. They don't know what to do. <laughs> and finally, we have detached. I'm emotionally closed off, so I don't feel my past wounds. Okay, so I really feel like there's a couple of messages that, that is coming through. The first uh, scenario that um, I'm getting is that this person is conflicted and uh, a commitment that they're currently in and that's the reason why they're actually detached from you so they're emotionally closed off so that um, they don't really open up to their feelings okay the other uh, aspect that I'm seeing here is that this person really wants to offer you a sense of commitment but they're really conflicted and instead they're trying to hold back from exploring their feelings when it comes to you um, the other, the final, uh, message I'm, uh, getting here is that, um, this person is really conflicted about, um, pursuing a person, okay, that is not yourself and deepening their bond with that individual, okay, and, um, they don't want to feel the connection that they have with you. They're trying to move on with their life. So there's a couple of messages uh, that I'm, I'm feeling here. Let's go ahead and see what else. Spirit. 
very well clear messages want to come through in regards to this person connected to Libra. For the month of December, what do we need to know about this person's energy? Thank you, Spirit. How do they currently think of you? How do they feel? What do they want? And what is the outcome? What can you tell me about this person's energy? Please bring forth clear messages in regards to this person that is connected to Libras and love. Let's see. Hmm. I see here the star. So maybe for some, you're connected to an Aquarius. Um, and this person is uh, wanting to heal. They want to balance out the situation. I feel that for some, uh, this is a spiritual connection. Uh, I'm also getting here a fire sign with the Knight of Wands energy. Uh, this particular person wants to come in after healing themselves or working on um, what it is that they want. I see, see that they want to get out of the separation. So if you guys are in separation or not really together, they're trying to figure out, you know, what is the best way of coming together? So your person is actually thinking about pursuing you at this time, Libra. Um, you, you know, so maybe this detachment is possibly that they're really conflicted on how that they can leave a karmic situation behind so that they can take this relationship to the next level. So I really feel like um, that is the major uh, energy here. I'm also seeing uh, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Uh, so your person wants to tell you the truth, that they think that you're very beautiful. Um, this person really feels that a lot of people gravitate towards you. They really admire like your intuition and uh, your sense of creativity. I have a feeling like for some, uh, you guys are artists, okay? Um, or maybe a writer is what I'm getting. Or maybe you guys know how to write well. Um, now, I'm getting that there's a pushback, okay? So your person is feeling that you know, do they have what it takes to make it a, an offer towards you? Because I see here the Ace of Pentacles. And maybe for the past three years, it really hasn't worked out in their favor. They really feel like they can't really move forward. And that's why they're blocking their heart. But, you know, they, they're ready for this new beginning. So that's the inner conflict that I'm getting here about this commitment. Okay. So maybe they're trying to detach from outcomes. Okay, if this person really uh, were to open up their heart towards you in the month of December, um, I feel like they're trying to mend, you know, their feelings so they can, because I see here the nine of cups and it's in reverse. That just tells me that your person is really disappointed in their choices and decisions of the past and they're very clear that uh, they would like to... Uh, communicate to you okay um that they just needed some time to really think you know what to do you know i feel that your person is hesitating with the chariot in reverse and it's because they're kind of stuck between two people so i have a feeling like it's between you and someone else um you know their ego is actually getting in the way of their their decision making and i see that it's not very clear Okay, with the sun. So they're not really clear on how that they can make it work. Like how can this person um, be a father, be a provider, be, you know, a husband or a wife, you know, a mother, you know, take it as it was needs. And um, I see that they have made a decision to really get out of their head about defending themselves. They've come to a realization that, you know, they, they put everything on themselves about um, maybe their sense of stability. Now, this is what I'm, I'm really getting. For those of you who are connected to someone who is actually in a marriage or in another commitment, so that person um, is like the breadwinner and they feel responsible for taking care of the family, you know, making sure that, you know, um, there's enough, you know, for basic means of living. And, um, 
if they were to go through this breakup or ending with a karmic relationship to be with you, um, they know that they have to put their um, feelings aside, okay, and really detach themselves from outcome. So what I'm seeing, and this seems really positive, Libra, I really feel like there's someone who could be entering into your life in December. They're actually detaching themselves from a karmic situation, or they're learning to try to do it. It's been really difficult for them. I feel like this is something that they've been, you know, working on for a number of years. And finally, um, they really want to come through and make some sort of offer. Okay. Um, let me know whoever this is. Like I see here the Ace of Cups. So I have a feeling like at the end of this month, okay, not this month, you know, because um, it is November as I'm recording this, but at the end of December going into January, I have a feeling like there is a, a handful of Libras that is actually watching this and you will possibly um, take your relationship to the next level with your person. Okay. Like I have a feeling like it's going to be beautiful. You, you, you possibly will be able to spend the holidays with your person with the sense of commitment. Um, if it's not a ring, it's maybe a promise ring and, um, it, it feels very cozy. It actually has a really good vibe to it. I see that your person is really getting out of this conflict of, you know, how long it's taken this person to come to their senses um, about this spiritual connection and also letting go of the third party situation and doing some deep uh, thinking about this uh, Dustin, uh, I guess, partnership that they're about to have with you. Perhaps in the past two years, things haven't been um, picture perfect, and that's why they didn't know what the future holds. But I see that your person is thinking it's time to release and let go of the past and um, really get over it, okay, uh, so that they could maybe have you as their, their physical partner in life, you know, a husband, a wife, you know, someone that they could be in a commitment with. And I feel like um, this person's finally making a decision for the long haul. For, for a long time, they put themselves out in the cold and it's because they need to heal. And I really feel like there's an opportunity for your person to get out of like playing it safe. Okay, it's time to release and let go of whatever that they were holding on to and um, taking the lead. Okay, because this person knows that you do make them happy. You know, I have a feeling like uh, you shared like some sort of past with each other. And in the past, they weren't able to give. So I see that they may have come off as being rude or maybe they didn't know. It was because um, they feel like they're either not good enough or they were in a codependent relationship. But now there is some sort of change where they want a commitment. Okay, they want a commitment, and I see that uh, with the Page of Swords, uh, your person is has been watching you, and they want to know, okay, there's going to be communication, I feel like within eight days to maybe eight weeks, okay, um, they haven't been able to express themselves, but they're making a decision to show up. Okay, in a very small way, and then once they, they give in a little bit, then they let you know that <laughs> their feelings are deep. Okay, you're gonna get like the truth. Okay, like it was really painful for them. You're gonna hear a lot coming out of this person that they want a partnership, and the reason why that they didn't come out sooner is because they didn't have the courage to tell you this. Okay. And they were trying to get out of whatever situation that they're in because they feel like they couldn't really move forward. So, and I see here the justice card and that is, that is your energy. So Libra, I really feel like, um, there is someone who you will meet this month. Okay. In December where you might end up in a relationship. A long-term relationship so oh, hold on I pulled from the wrong side do 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 
Okay. Okay, so your person is thinking that they need to walk away from a situation and they're playing the victim. Okay, they're in their head. Maybe it was because of kids. Okay, maybe they use like children as an excuse for them not uh, being able to come. So your person is learning to detach from whatever situation that they are dealing with. And right now, how they're feeling is that um, they're feeling very confident okay about um getting out of a situation so they can offer their feelings to you so um they really feel like it's time to put closure towards the past so they can move on their intention is to really get out of overthinking and just coming out and speaking what's on their mind like you know it's kind of like um Somebody, you know, had had the hard time of, you know, mustering up the courage to speak their truth and, you know, they want to hurry up and say it, you know, before, you know, they just, you know, back out from, uh, from, you know, saying their truth. That's what I feel that is going on with your person. Okay. Also, um, they, they really want to tell you things that they've been hiding this whole time. So this person has been holding back because they're not sure, because I feel like, you know, um, there's a family situation that really needs closure. Maybe they're just waiting for this holiday season to kind of like pass over. But I feel that at the end of this month, going into January, I feel like somebody here is going to be in a relationship. That's what it feels like. So it could be a Scorpio. I see her death. When there is an ending, there's a new beginning. So someone is putting an end towards a situation and they're manifesting. Okay, could be Gemini energy. <laughs> nice I said that. Uh, the lovers. Okay, this person is, this is like three major arcanas here. And um, I see here the four of cups and it came up in reverse. Getting out of feeling like they've missed that opportunity because um they didn't put any work on it so i have a feeling like your person needs to let go of something like an idea or an actual situation so they can move forward but i really feel like at the end of this month somebody is going to be in a commitment a committed partnership or relationship and if they're stuck on someone or something they're putting an end to it so they can spend more time with you. That's actually beautiful. So let's see. What does uh, your person's higher self want to say towards you at this time? Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So I have a feeling like your person wants to play, okay, um, and laugh and, and just spend quality time with, with you. So let's go ahead and see. What is uh, the guidance message here from Spirit? So if you feel like this resonated with you, I hope you liked it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And thank you all for watching. And um, if you guys would like to book a personal reading, now is the perfect time to do so. All of my readings are 20% off. And so, yeah, if you feel like this is your person and you want validation, you know, um, to see if this is your reading, then you can definitely book a reading with me and I could probably tap into your person's energy and, and find more, right? So let's see. What is the guidance that you have, Spirit, for Libra? Okay. Be assertive. So make sure when you have that conversation, you kind of speak your your truth don't hold back also it's really up to you to have this uh conversation if you hold back and don't really speak your truth then possibly you won't re reach a, a level of resolution at this time and it may be a, a later timeline for some okay if you decide to not follow through yeah, you're going to have an opportunity to be assertive. 
So I really feel like it's happening this month. Um, yeah, reconsider. Reconsider whatever has happened between you and your person. I feel like there's one more energy. Yeah, practice forgiveness. If you really feel like um, you guys had like a little falling out or whatnot, like let's say that you know this person and something happened, practice forgiveness. Be gentle to yourself. You know, um, if your person, you know, did something towards you, forgive them. You know, and I really feel like uh, at the end of this month is going to be a happy ending. Okay, so I really hope that that was helpful. Again, if you guys want to book a personal reading with me, www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. And um, if you're interested in any kind of spiritual goodies, especially for the holidays, I have 20% off going on on my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. Thank you all, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.